we, we've stopped competing with composure. And I think that's what uh, kind of pulled at our fabric and that's what we started to unravel. And what allowed uh, Jared Allen to get going so early the way that he did? Um, coverage breakdowns. You know, um, we know he's, he's going to put pressure on the rim, you know, especially in pick and rolls. And we were quite often on the outside looking in. We weren't, we weren't in the right spot early to meet him, um, you know, and make him kick it out. And he just had free runs to the rim. Wes, the Cavaliers have one of the better defensive ratings in the league. They're one of the best defensive teams in the league so far. I mean, what stands out about their defense? What makes them so tough to play against? Well, their physicality. Um, we've had issues with that, you know, several times this season. The, um, uh, the fact that we don't, we don't own our, own our spots, our setups, our screens, uh, they get into us, they blow through things. Um, so credit to them. They did a great job defensively um, and they've done, done that all season, but um, we've got to do a better job with that handling those type of uh, defenses. The, the ones that kind of crawl up into you make life tough. You know, at times we just, I think, uh, play on our heels with that. Uh, Evan Mobley is a young player in this league. Early on in his career, what stands out to you about, you know, just kind of how he's come into the league so far? I think he's a very talented kid. Um, you know, his athleticism and length, then, you know, those are the obvious. But I think he plays at his own speed. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't get sped up. Uh, there's a comfort level, even with his, uh, with his length and his ability to handle uh, physicality. What did you think about how Danny stepped up today despite being under the weather? Yeah, I give him credit. You know, I think he was uh, he was struggling a little bit late. We had to get him out um, with the fatigue. But you know, the, the fact that he was able to compete, um, play through it, I give him a lot of credit for that. Uh, as far as? In terms of the, uh, the Cavaliers offense, ability to collect offense and rebound and power up. Yeah, there was a, well, second chance points was a huge component of that. Even when we were able to uh, um, defend at some level for 20, 22 seconds, we didn't finish the uh, possession. Um, but in general, um, you know, there were a lot of coverage breakdowns. And I think that's, uh, that's something we'll take a look at tomorrow on the film. Uh, those are unacceptable. It's, it has nothing to do with, with anything. We're not in the right spots. We're not communicating and we're, or we're not honoring, you know, that communication. Was, to what, was Spencer as aggressive as he needed to be tonight? Is he deferring? Is he trying to get too many other people involved at the expense of his own? That probably is a question for Spencer. I mean, I think I, I would think he has to be more aggressive, um, especially early in the game. You know, and I know as a point guard, a lot of times you want to set the table and kind of get guys involved. Um, and I think we can do both. I'd, lo I'd love to see him be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, and it doesn't mean hunt shots. But, uh, you know, a little more aggressive with his thrust up the floor, um, attacking, you know, getting to the line. He's very capable, and we've seen it. Um, but just, to, you know, get that, get that started sooner. You mentioned coverage breakdowns. How much did their size kind of play a role in that? Or was that, kind of like you said, more self-inflicted? I think a lot of it was self-inflicted. You know, it'd be tough to say without watching the film, but, you know, that, that their size does matter. It's, uh, it impacts the game. You know, if you switch – you're at a deficit in the post. You're at a deficit on the on the glass. Um, you know their ability to shoot. Where if if you're, you know, there's too much separation, their bigs are popping. Um, and you know, I already alluded to the point with Allen on the rim. You know, we got to be in the right spot early, else he's you know putting that pr pressure on the on the basket. So it's a uh, it's a number of things, but I think more coverage breakdown than anything. Well, I think it's uh, the the biggest thing was we've been down this road before. How many times do we have to have the same conversation um, about our approach, our energy, our composure? Um, you know, and I think, you know, that's probably the most frustrating thing. We've had the same conversation and we always bounce back, which is terrific. But how do we sustain that? How do we not fall back into some of those things that we wind up falling into? In, in the second and third quarters, they went on that 19 home run and kind of broke the game up. Damn. Um, what went wrong for you guys? Uh, the first praise on the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, they just wanted a little bit more than we did. I think uh, they really just kind of just brought it to us and just hit and hit and hit. And the run was crazy. We couldn't, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't sustain it. Um, we couldn't get stops. We were kind of discombobulated on the defensive end. weren't we weren't doing anything like we were supposed to on either end of the floor. And granted, offensively, we were just missing some shots. But I think just uh, our quality of getting our shots up, you know, our flow of our offense, we got up 
to a good start flow wise early on and pace and stuff like that. But that dwindled, that dwindled, that dwindled down pretty quickly. Um, and they were just living in the paint. Garland was pretty much getting what he wanted. Um, same with Jared Allen. So we, we didn't really make it tough on him in the second, third quarter. And rebounding has been a strength for you guys. Um, it, it wasn't tonight. Was it just a, a matter of their size? I mean, obviously they got a huge front court. They were huge. They were a huge team. I mean, you, you definitely tip your hat out to them. Um, you know, they play to their advantage, but that's not an excuse for us not to be, you know, ready to go. And that's us. Us on guards too. You know, we have to we have to do a better job of getting in there, and helping our bigs out, um, especially with those over the top rebounds. And uh, and I think offensively, we have to. <clears throat> We got to help Gaff on those boards, you know, get some guys to the offensive boards. Our fours and fives got to probably crash a little bit more so we can get some presence down there. It's tough as to watch the whole third and fourth. It's like, dang, we have no bigs crashing, you know, on offense. And that's tough, you know, because they get, they have four or five big guys down there. We just got Gaff battling by himself. So, uh, I mean, we just got to be better. We us collectively, we have to, you know, be more physical. Tonight's a physical game and they, they brought it to us. That was a big. Uh, that was a big reason we lost. We played a very emotional game today, and uh, I mean it happens sometimes. But you know, uh, we have to be able to learn to be poised in those situations and uh, and just keep our composure. We know it can be tough. Calls aren't going to go our way. Shots aren't going to go our way. Um, the game may not be going your way that day, but you know you have to be able to keep yourself poised and engaged in the game. Um, I think we got like three play, three texts in one damn play or whatever it was, and you know that was kind of granted you know, we were down like twenty and thirty at the time, but it's like you know let's keep our let's let's be true to who we are. You know, let's not get out of character. Um, you know, let's go out and compete and finish the game, and you know, get out of here. Nine of your next ten on the road. Uh, that's a lot of road games and um, stretch of ten games. What's going to be the key for you guys? Uh, one, taking care of your body. Uh, but two, just being more consistent. You know, we I've kind of said it. I think the last couple of games, if finding a sustainable you know, way of winning. You know, I think a lot of our wins early in the year were kind of we know we we weren't we can't win like that. You know, against good teams and same team like tonight. Like you have these crappy teams who. You know, granted, they have good size and they play to their edit. You know, we have to, we can't just flip on and think that was another, another situation like that tonight. So um, we just have to be better prepared, making sure that night in and night out, teams are going to give us their best. You know, we're a team that teams want to come after. So we have to, we have to understand we're going to get everybody's best and we got to be ready to go starting with me. So uh, big road, big road trip ahead of us. And like you said, nine of the next 10 are on the road. So, you know, hopefully, uh, we can kind of take care of business like we do at home. So, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's you'll have those moments, uh, and we, we just have to get it back. Um, <clears throat> we understand what kind of team we can be and where our areas of mistake were, you know, and we knew that as soon as. We seen the score half, and then after the game, you know, we we knew exactly what we lost, and um, we know it's a it's an easy fix. So uh, we're not we're not going to allow ourselves to go down the path of of no return. You know, of digging ourselves too deep of a hole. Brad, I didn't get a chance to ask you last game, but uh, was it like to have Brad uh, really back on the bench? Oh, it was great. It's always exciting. Um, I mean, he's been around us for you know a couple of weeks now. So, uh, but to have him engaged in the game setting, you know, for him to kind of get back his his uh his mental approach to it and kind of just learning things on the fly again is is always great, um and you know we're always we're ready for him you know we're we're ready, we're ready and excited for him to get back out there, um uh, but it's always good there's a great sign to see that he's with us he's with his team, um you know he's out there you know with us so in due time. Christos. Hey, Brad, you mentioned the consistency before. What do you need or what do you have to do as a team to be more consistent, especially in your competitive side? Uh, uh, one, it shouldn't, we, we should know that we got to go come out and compete every night. You know, it shouldn't take coach 
or one of our teammates yelling at us in the timeout, you know, saying, you know, let's pick up our energy, let's pick up, you know, our efforts. You know, that should be a given. Um, on top of that, you know, it's just when we individually have to look ourselves in the mirror and start with me and be better all around. And then collectively, you know, we have to get back to what's been working for us. You know, we, we can't get tired of doing the right things and the, and the good things over and over again. You know, we get rewarded for those things. And it's shown that, you know, once we do them, you know, we have a huge success rate with it. So uh, we got to get back to our defensive mindset, being a physical team. Um, and just being confident in offense, shooting the ball with confidence, making plays with confidence, uh, no matter what it may be. Like, we didn't have, I think our turnovers were low tonight. But in that, you know, we got to make sure we're getting some good quality shots. We had a couple shot clock violations, a couple hand grenades tonight. So it's just making sure that we're, we're confident in everything we do. And uh, for uh, the upcoming road trip for you, what is the most challenging part of that road trip? I'm sorry, repeat it. Yeah. Uh, for the upcoming road trip for you guys, what is the biggest challenge? Uh, I mean, just realizing that every team is going to bring us their best. You know, uh, every game we play is not going to be easy. No team is just going to come in and just let us win and just think it'll be an easy game. We have to understand that we're a targeted team and – you know, teams are going to give us their best. And uh, it's a great opportunity for us. Like, it's a good test for us playing against these teams on the road. Um, it will help us maturity-wise and camaraderie-wise and just building up how we need to wreck together this kind of these consistent wins. You know, we and we have some really good teams ahead of us, and we can't be as like we did tonight or we have the same results. In the second and third quarter, they, they went on a 19-0 run. Just kind of what allows them to break the game up in there? Um, Shoot. Sure. Obviously, we didn't get stops um, and we didn't score. I mean, not to keep it too general and simple, but I mean, it wasn't like we were turning over all over the place, you know what I mean? So that's that's kind of what happened. And you know Jared Allen's game very well. Um, yeah. What allowed him to get going so early and often tonight? Um, I think it's just the product of the way he plays. Obviously, they found him a couple of lobs. Uh, he's really good at kind of reading when to screen, when to slip out, you know, those type of things. And then you know, he's got great hands and, and finishes in the short roll as well. So, you know, he, uh, the way he plays, he can hurt you in multiple different ways. And you know, he did that tonight. Spencer, what's the thing earlier that he'd like to see you a little bit more aggressive? Where's the fine line between setting up your teammates and, and looking for yourself? You know, how do you kind of approach that on a night like tonight? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, outside of Brad, we have kind of an equal opportunity system. Uh, you know, we got guys pushing the ball, guys, you know, shooting shots, trying to be aggressive and all that other stuff. Um, you know, you you just try to when 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 they feel like they they got a look or something like that, you try to get out of the way. Um, and then when they don't, obviously, uh, you try to make a play. That's why sometimes I, I get the ball late, clock things like that. Um, you know, sometimes I make, sometimes I miss. It's kind of like that. Uh, Three-point defense has been a strength for you guys all year. Um, was tonight uh, just a, you guys getting away from what you, you've done well, or were they just making shots? Uh, I mean, probably a little bit of both. At the same time, like, you know, when they hurt you inside and then kind of collapse you, uh, that then obviously gets kickouts too. I mean, they also did a good job offensive rebounding, and, and those are typically the easiest threes. You know, any any team that offensive rebounds and, and, and does those kind of dagger three situations, like those are the hardest ones to defend. It's easy to defend, you know, more point of attack. I know the Cavs have a lot of size, but they're one of the better teams in the league in terms of defensive rating, defensive stats, like things like that. Uh, what makes them so tough to play against offensively? Uh, I mean, obviously with their size, we're in protection. Um, sometimes I think you can get out of doing what you, you want to do if just because you see their, their size and whatnot. Um, you know, it's all around. I mean, obviously you got Jared Allen, Mobley in there blocking shots and stuff, and Caleb taking charges. It's just all around size team. Oh, um, I mean, it, it's a long season. There's a flow to it. Um, you guys know how I feel about about my game. I mean, it's, it's just simply a volume of possessions type of vibe. You know, I'm not a high turnover guy. Like you put me in a pick and roll, like, you know, shoot or pass it and figure it out. So, um, you know, I'm not I'm not worried in in terms of that respect. I mean, 
new team trying to figure out. Like I said, we got a lot of guys trying to trying to press the go button right now. So, you know, some somebody's gonna not have a rock. Like, if we want to change it, then we can change it. Like, it's that simple. How great is it to have a Rui back on the bench the last two games? Oh, it's been phenomenal. You know what I mean? Um, just uh, knowing, obviously, that you know he was going through what he was going through. Um, and that that he's healthy and happy enough to be out there. I think that's the that's the brightest spot about it, right? You just feel for a guy and, and want him to be in the best uh, space possible for for himself. You know what I'm saying? Because this uh, this things are bigger than basketball. Nine of your next ten on the road, ten of your next twelve. Um, it's a lot of road games. W w what's going to be the key for this stretch? Oh, I mean, I think uh, the road can be good in terms of you know band together as a group. Um, and obviously we're a new group, so we can take some of that time to really uh, just kind of coalesce and, and uh, you know, find our identity, keep going, or not find our identity because we got one, but, like, you know, just keep moving forward. Christos. Hey, Spencer. Hope you're doing well. If you look back on tonight's game, what do you have to improve as a, as a team uh, uh, for the upcoming road trip? Oh, well, we definitely can't uh, let those runs happen. Obviously, uh, that's how the game gets away from you, 19 0, you know, things like that. Even if you had a lead built, right, you'd have lost the lead. So, you know, regardless of the situation in the game, like, you got to be able to kind of cut those runs. So you can either keep your lead or, or don't let the game get out of hand.